Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some updates for you all. If you follow me on Instagram, you actually already know this, but I bought a E46 M3. Yes, it's this one behind me. And you might be thinking like, why did you buy it? Well, if you follow my LS3 swap, you know that I was looking for a M3 rear end because I'm planning on using the M3 rear end for my LS3 swap. So after searching for just the M3 rear end, I had no luck. So I started searching for the whole M3, which, well, this one popped up. Uh, the ad said $5,000 and I was like, that's crazy, but, but hopefully I can negotiate another price. And well, I did not pay $5,000, which is awesome. However, now I'm torn between whether I want to par out the car or whether I want to sell it and make profit off of it. And before you comment anything, just listen to what I have to say and where I'm coming from first. But before that, let me show you the car so that you have a better understanding and uh, then we'll talk. So here is the M3. The first thing that you probably notice is the hood. Honestly, I am not a fan of this style. I feel like it's so ugly. But I mean, I know a lot of people that actually want this hood. Um, for some reason, they put two fog lights. As you can see, it also has a lip on the bumper, which is pretty cool. And moving on, it was hit on this side here. The driver fender and the door have been repainted. And as you can see, the color of the car is silver, which honestly, I am not a big fan of. And it is also a convertible, which not a lot of people want. Uh, personally, I really don't like it either. Uh, but yeah, moving on to the wheels. I don't know what these wheels are, but it does have some uh, nice tires. It's pretty dirty, but overall, the engine runs good. There is a check engine line, but nothing major. Uh, it doesn't sound weird or anything. Uh, the transmission's fine as well. Just needs to be cleaned up, but overall, I mean, it's a pretty good car. So there it is. I think it's pretty clean. While there are some things that I would change about it, overall, I do feel like it has potential. However, I'm torn whether I want to sell it or part it out. So if I sell it, I can make a profit and then use that money to buy a separate M3 rear end. If I part it out, I will have the M3 rear end, I will have parts that I could sell, and I'll have a spare M3 engine. So a couple of videos ago, I talked about how I have a 1987 BMW E30 and how it was back in North Carolina where I moved from. Right now, I am in California, so I couldn't bring it with me. I'm going back to North Carolina in December, so I have the opportunity to actually bring the E30 here. At first, when I bought the E30, it was just as an investment. I knew that these cars were going to raise up in price. Um, I got it for like $900 or something crazy like that. It has no rust. Um, it has the original engine. It does have some problems, but overall, no rust, which I was happy about. So I bought it. 
um, and it's also white which is crazy because um, the car that I'm swapping in the LS3 right now is white and also I have a uh, E46 wagon that is also white which is currently what we are daily driving right now a nice addition to add another white car to my collection basically E46 life man it's crazy but anyways, um, in the future, I would love to have an M3, uh, like I said, because we're crazy. However, we would love it to be a coupe, maybe Phoenix Yellow or a Mola Red. Uh, that would be pretty epic. Actually, also the um, Alpine White M3s are actually very hard to find as well. So, I mean, we would definitely have to spend some money and actually search for these cars since they're getting harder to find. But anyways, I got sidetracked. My bad. But like I was saying, the E30, I would love to save this M3 engine and actually swap it into the E30, which I would be able to make videos on once my LS3 swap is done. So it's really hard to decide. So I've been thinking about it a lot. A lot of people are like, don't part out the M3 like you're crazy, blah, blah, blah. But but I feel like I have good reasons to uh, part it out because at the end of the day, I'll be able to finish my LS3 build and also have a new project with the E30. So that's why I would love to see what you all have to say. I would read all the comments. At the end of the day, I will decide whether I would want to part of the car or uh, sell it. So make sure you subscribe for future updates and also click the little bell so that you're notified when I upload videos. Sometimes YouTube is crazy and does not notify people when I upload videos, so that sucks. But in the next video, you will see whether I am taking the M3 rear end out or if I'm still searching for another M3 rear end. Stay tuned for that and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, before I go, let me give out my shoutouts. I almost forgot. I saw somebody comment. They were like, why does she give shoutouts? Well, basically, it's just to show appreciation. Okay, so my YouTube shoutout goes out to M3E92. And my Instagram shoutout goes out to Dan underscore the underscore mechanic. Thanks for the comments, guys. I appreciate it. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next one. Bye.